seminar on roller press in urban planning and development. Strong support given to journalists to Da Nang. Da Nang tax collection from real estate is its target. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. On September the 14th, Da Nang newspaper held a seminar for the media agencies from the five big cities directly under the central government, including Da Nang newspaper, Hanoi Mới newspaper, Saigon Giải Phóng newspaper, Hai Phong newspaper, and Kung Thơ newspaper, under the theme Roller Press in Urban Planning and Development, attracting the participation of nearly 20 parties' newspapers throughout the country. The seminar focused on issues of planning for urban infrastructure development investment, serving traffic congestion problem, developing eco-industrial parks, serving problem of housing for workers, preserving landscape architecture as well as promoting vital role of the local party newspapers in the work of propagation and criticism, contributing to a comedy in the whole political system and functional agencies to better implement the plan on building and developing urban areas in Vietnam towards civilization, modernization, and sustainability. According to the information of the Press and Information Department under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it is estimated that about 3,000 domestic and international journalists will come to Da Nang to undertake the propagation activities during the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Particularly, the event will attract the participation of many prestigious international media companies such as Bloomberg, CNBC, CNN, AP, PPC, Reuters, and NHK. Apart from the journalists from the domestic and foreign media agencies, the number of those who accompany leaders from the APEC member economies to Da Nang is expected to be quite high. Therefore, there will be a wide range of equipment for the propagation activities of journalists. In order to create the most favorable conditions for the journalists to fulfill their duty, the CD Department of Foreign Affairs will coordinate with the Da Nang Customs and Da Nang International Airport to put forward the most effective solutions for supporting journalists in terms of temporarily importing and re-exporting their equipment in accordance with the current legal regulations in Vietnam. Currently, the construction of the International Media Center serving the propagation activities during the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 has been completed. The City Information and Communications Department said that next week, the unit will organize a visit to the International Media Center for a delegation of Da Nang journalists. The visit aims to help them to timely build specific plan for their propagation activities during the APAC Economic Leaders Week, contributing to introducing and advertising the Da Nang's image to international friends. In addition, before and during the APAC Economic Leaders Week, the City Department of Foreign Affairs will send its permanent staff to the International Media Center together with liaison officers and volunteers who will provide timely assistance, fully meeting the needs of the domestic and international journalists. According to the Traffic Police Division under the Municipal Department of Police, so far, the unit has basically been ready for the work of ensuring traffic order and safety for the APAC Economic Leaders Week. The unit has completed checking the key routes serving the APAC such as the streets from Da Nang International Airport to the beach in the city's eastern area, the streets from hotels where the delegations of senior leaders will stay to the conference venues and the streets in Kamle District near the International Press Center. The special attention is also paid on the intersections of these routes. The unit also made plan to coordinate with the subunits of the Traffic Police Bureau to ensure traffic safety and order for the delegations. On September the 14th morning, Dana Steel Joy Stock Comedy and Dana Department of Science and Technology jointly organized a drill regarding the city's response to radiation and nuclear incidents in 2017. This is the second drill at the city level conducted under the direction of the city people's committee. 
This year's scenario is state based on actual situations around the world, focusing on improving the capability of responding to radiation incidents of the Da Nang Steel Joy Stock Company and other expertise relevant forces and facilities in the city. The company's representatives regarded this as a practical and meaningful program, especially for medium and large enterprises. As Da Nang is a commercial and industrial hub of central Vietnam, an important transport gateway of various neighboring provinces, such rehearsal will provide necessary and professional skills to the related forces in the locality to be able to readily and immediately respond when an incident occurs. According to the Da Nang Taxation Department, the city's total budget revenue from real estate in the first eight months of this year exceeded the estimates for the whole 2017. Accordingly, in the first eight months of this year, the total revenue collection from real estate reached nearly $2,280 billion, exceeding nearly 2% of the yearly estimates, and almost equal the real estate revenue of the whole 2016. A number of districts in Da Nang experienced a strong increase in budget collection from real estate transactions such as Sơn Trà, Gu Hân Sơn, Li Chiu and Hà Vang districts. Reportedly, the real estate market in the first months of the year has prospered with a dramatic rise in the number of transferring transactions, contributing $2,700 billion to the total budget revenue of the district block. In particular, Sencha is the district having the highest exceeded revenue of nearly $429 billion, followed by Hai Chau, Kam Le and Hoa Vang districts. As is said by the World Bank, the special consumption taxes on some kinds of product, which are not encouraged for consumption such as tobacco, beer and alcohol, are still relatively low. The World Bank also recommended gradual increasing in the excise tax rates on these commodities. In 2017, the excise tax levied on beer is at 60%, and from 30 to 65% on alcohol, depending on volume. This tax rate, according to the World Bank, is still low compared to many countries in the world. While the Ministry of Finance is drafting tax increases, many experts said that taxes on non-encouraging items such as alcohol, beer and tobacco should be raised, which will make positive impact on the community, at the same time bringing more revenue to the budget. The increases of taxes need to be considered, and the authorities need to have a roadmap for businesses to ensure the objectives of the policies. That's all we have for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.